The other big story today is being called the biggest year of bird flu in California by the Poultry Federation. For a second year in a row, it's creating egg shortages and unstable prices for you at the store. I know we've witnessed this ourselves. Our Devin Truby looks into what's going on and how local farmers are dealing with it. It's becoming a more common sight in grocery stores, empty egg shelves. Bird flu has deeply impacted farmers in both Sonoma County and the Bay Area, and in return, creating shortages on store shelves. We've lost over three million layer chickens and uh, lots of ducks and a million chickens that for meat already. Bill Mattis is the president of the California Poultry Federation. He says losses in the Central Valley, like San Joaquin County, have hit a million and are closing in on a million and a half egg-laying chickens wiped out in under six weeks. We've lost significant numbers of chickens for eggs in the Central Valley, but we, I think the Sacramento area sh and this area should be okay within the next month once uh, the market kind of takes care of itself. In the Central Valley, the hardest hit due to ducks carrying bird flu. When farmers have outbreaks, the U.S. Department of Agriculture helps with the quarantine and cost, but it's still concerning for poultry farmers like Ken Mitchell because it doesn't make them whole. The biggest thing is the downtime, the four to six months. If you're in the poultry business and you don't have birds, you're not making money. The Poultry Federation expects an increase in prices over the next month, but they should go down if bird flu is under control. Egg prices peaked at a nationwide average of $4.82 a dozen in January, more than double the price last year. Good to know, Devin Truby, thank you. Now, apparently birds aren't the only animals impacted. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture in Northern California, bird flu has also been found in a bobcat, two fisheries, two mountain lions, and a raccoon.